that abuse of power, even if proved, is not an impeachable offense. The news you're making, as I understand it, is that, quote, abuse of power, in your sure. argument, does not constitute as a high crime under the Constitution? That's exactly right. We look at how they conduct the foreign policy. We look at whether they try to subvert the Constitution the way Iran-Contra did, if you have somebody who completely corrupts the office of president and who abuses trust and who poses great danger to our liberty, you don't need a technical crime. Mm -hmm. And we are joined by renowned Harvard constitutional law scholar Lawrence Tribe. He is also, we should note, an advising speaker for Pelosi and House Democrats in the impeachment probe. And we are joined by MSNBC legal analyst Andrew Weissman, a veteran prosecutor who served in the Mueller Russia probe. Uh, good to see both of you. Andrew, uh, which Alan Dershowitz is right? Well, I actually think this is going to come down to an issue of fact, not an issue of law. I mean, I understand if you don't have the facts on your side, you would want to make the argument that even if all of this happened, it's it's not something that can be impeached for. But I just don't think the American public is going to buy that. I mean, this is one where if it is shown um, to the satisfaction of the Senate and the American public that the president actually was getting a foreign country to open up a bogus investigation on his political opponent in order to cheat on an election, I don't think you're going to get a lot of sympathy with people saying, gee, I don't think that's impeachable. Mm. And um, when, prof uh, when Professor and Attorney Dershowitz says now that abuse of office, abuse of power is no longer impeachable when it used to be and claims he's, as he told me, he is a Trump lawyer, but he views this as independent analysis. How does that play out? Well, so one, if you're a lawyer for somebody, I mean, I've been a defense lawyer, um, you have an absolute mm -hmm. obligation to represent a person zealously. There isn't no such thing as saying, I represent somebody, but now I'm going to tell you my independent views. You don't have that luxury as a defense lawyer. Your job is to present the best case for that person. So that I don't buy. Um, it is great for defense lawyers to make the best case they can, but they really can't say, oh, but let me just say this is really an objective view. You're paid and you're responsible to your client. Uh, Professor, your views. Well, I just am very disappointed at my former colleague, Alan. Um, he's really lost it, to be very blunt. You don't need to cite the old Alan Dershowitz to refute the new Alan Dershowitz. Just cite Oh, you know, guys like Alexander Hamilton and James Madison. The whole history of the United States is a history that is built around the idea that because extraordinary power is given to the president, if the president abuses that power, mm -hmm. that's when you have to do something about it. Well, so let me, let me Alan, ask you about that it because it doesn't make sense. You're making the point that you don't need to Durst check. You can just fact check. <laughs> But the fact that yeah. Mr. Dershowitz carries himself in this unusual claim that we also dealt with on Friday, that this is his independent view, means he's really set himself up because his independent views, as publicly stated, were that abuse of office, abuse of trust, abuse of power, all interchangeable, are impeachable. Right. Well, he's claiming to be kind of it's almost like the Wizard of Oz on behalf of the Constitution. He's, his client is the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> And I guess he gets off on that. But there is no such role. The Constitution didn't retain Alan Dershowitz. The Constitution is more important, frankly, than Alan Dershowitz. And I think we should really get over the, the Dershowmania business and focus mm. on how serious this problem is. The country has a guy in office who is using his power to subvert the integrity of our elections. He's shaking down foreign governments. He's holding up federally appropriated money. If this is not impeachable, nothing is. Hmm. And I understand what they're doing. They're saying that they want to give senators cover. Senators don't want to have to say that what the president did is fine. They want to say, well, it doesn't matter. We don't care whether it's good or bad. We are assured by counsel for the Constitution, Alan Dershowitz, that it's not impeachable. So, so let's get on with our work. I mean, that's really does a great disservice to this solemn proceeding. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here. Or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.